In the heart of the bustling city was an oasis of calm, a garden that thrived, a garden that bloomed. Yet it wasn't always this way. Once it was a forgotten wasteland, a tangle of weeds and neglect, until it met a man named Frederick. Frederick was an elderly man, a former botanist who had spent his life in the embrace of flora. He had a kind face, weathered by time and hands roughened by years of caressing leaves and turning soil. When he moved into the neighborhood, he saw the wasteland, and where everyone else saw an eyesore, Frederick saw potential. With a smile that crinkled his weather-beaten face, he set to work. He cleared the weeds and trash, turning the ground under the weight of his spade. He labored in the unforgiving heat of summer and the icy breath of winter, often working alone, planting seeds and nursing saplings. As seasons changed, a transformation unfolded. Green shoots began to poke through the barren ground. Vibrant flowers blossomed, replacing the bleakness with color and life. People started visiting, drawn by the unexpected beauty in the midst of concrete. The garden became a hub of the community and a symbol of resilience. But the garden was more than a place of beauty. It was a testament to the strength of persistence, the power of patience, and the magic of love. Frederick showed his neighborhood that with time and care, even the most barren land can bloom. He taught them that every place and every person holds a seed of potential. All it needs is someone to see it and nurture it with love, patience, and persistence. And so Frederick, with his wise old eyes and hardworking hands, transformed not just a piece of land, but the hearts of those around him, proving that even in the hardest of grounds, a seed of change can be planted, and with love, it can bloom into something beautiful.